I received cash from a client and uh, my Charles Schwab account doesn't take, um, there's no locations for me to deposit the cash. So I had to get a money order. In my situation, I'm trying to send money to myself. People use money orders to pay their rent. There's four sections you can fill out, but you only need to do three. So the first part, you would do the, you would fill out the pay to the order of, and you can put your landlord's name. And then where it says purchaser's address, you put your address as the purchaser. And then where there's the signature, you put your signature as the purchaser. And that's pretty much it with what you have to fill out. There's the part where it says payment for account number. You don't have to fill that part out. That's just for your notes for yourself. Just to remind you of what the check was used for. So if you're paying your landlord, you can just mark it as a note to yourself as rent. In the back of the check, you don't have to fill that out. That's for the person that's receiving the check. The bottom part of the check where it says money order receipt, you can tear that part and keep it for yourself for a reference and a receipt. And um, there's a tracking number on the bottom that basically lets you know when the person that cashes the check makes the deposit into their account. The cost of the money order is $2 at Western Union. You also can get the money orders at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. So that's pretty much it.